Hey everybody, Julie Ebersol for EllenHudson.com and welcome to Hello Monday. Today I'm going to be playing with a stamp set that has all these fun balloons. It's by Concord and Ninth and it has a matching or coordinating die set and it's just super fun. We're also featuring a particular color trend over on the classroom this week and I'm going to use that particular color trend or color palette to build a watercolor background or backdrop for my balloon. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take some Distress ink cubes and full-size pads and just smash them a little bit against my nonstick craft sheet here to create a paint palette. And then I'm gonna grab my water brush and just load up the color directly from there and start creating my backdrop. And I'm just gonna spread these colors around in a fashion that looks pleasing to my eye. I'm gonna try not to allow it to uh, blend too much together and create mud, especially when I start interjecting some of the blue hues. But right now, the way the marigold and the persimmon and the abandoned coral are blending together, I like how that looks. So now the trick is going to be to bring in some of that blue, and it will bleed a little bit where they connect. And I had the water kind of drift up a little bit and let the paintbrush pick up that uh, orange, and it kind of pulled it down into the water there where I'm painting the blue. And that's okay as long as you don't get carried away and, t and let it turn into mud. If you're worried about that, you might want to heat set before you start adding these other contrasting colors to the mix so that you don't end up with mud. But I was being pretty careful and just kind of added just enough to let those colors blend a little bit, added a little bit of that sage color, and I've got some, so I've got some green mixed in there. I'm just going to add just a little bit more abandoned coral, intensify it a bit, maybe add a little bit more of that dried marigold. And once it's done and I'm happy with what I've got, I'm going to stop before I end up with mud. And then I'm going to take my heat gun and go ahead and dry that thoroughly and then set it aside while I work on the rest of the card. Now there's some really fun detail or pattern balloon shape images in this set. And I've taken one of them and I'm just going to position that uh, in the misty. And I've got a piece of Nina Solar White 80 pound ink up with VersaFine Onyx Black. So I get a nice rich black impression and go ahead and close the lid there on that. And I'm also going to die cut the banner from a piece of Nina Solar White. And as you can see, I popped it out and I put some of that frog tape behind it. And this way I can pop the die cut shape back in there and position the stamp. And this one says wishing you a. So now I can go ahead and take my VersaFine Onyx Black again. Go ahead and ink up that sentiment and close the lid and get that stamped perfectly onto that die cut shape. Set that aside and I'm going to continue working on the watercolor panel now that it's completely dry and ready to go. I grabbed the word birthday from the stamp set and I find sometimes it's easier to work from the bottom up so I'm going to stamp birthday first and then happy second. Now you could position these together on the Misty and stamp them both at the same time but I really wanted a tight gap between the word happy and the word birthday and mounting them together was going to increase or widen that gap so I just decided it would be better to go ahead and uh, stamp them separately so that's what I'm doing here and as you can see it was easy to get the word happy lined up perfectly above the word birthday and now I'm going to take the smaller balloon die and go ahead and cut out that shape that has the pattern on it and grab the sentiment that's on the banner here and pop that out of the negative and I can start assembling everything. Now there are crease lines on this die so you know exactly where to fold to get that dimensional effect. And so I'm just going to go ahead and use my bone folder to reinforce or crease those fold lines or those fold lines very crisply and then start planning how I'm going to mount everything. Now there is a die in the set that has a balloon string, kind of curly balloon string. So I just went ahead and die cut that from some black cardstock. And I'm going to use my Zig 2A glue pen to apply some adhesive to the back of that. And go ahead and glue that right on top of the panel. And once I have that in position, I can just go ahead and if there's going to be some overhang there, just a little bit, and I can just use my scissors to trim that off. And now I can apply some adhesive to the back of the watercolor panel and go ahead and mount that flush. I was going to start mounting my other pieces, but they're 3D mounting and it makes it hard to put adhesive on the back of this. So it's easier to go ahead and mount this while it is still flat. And then I can go ahead uh, and flip that over. I'm going to actually burnish it from the back side because sometimes there's moisture on my fingertips and I really do not want to reactivate any of that watercolor by rubbing 
um, my hands across it so I flip it over there on my work surface and now I can go ahead and 3D mount that balloon die cut shape I put some foam mounting tape there on the back of that and once that's in position I can go ahead and take the banner and I'm gonna put some uh, of that be creative tape just a couple of little pieces there on the ends of the banner because that's going to be flush mounted to the card front and then I put a piece of foam tape there on the back of the middle part of the panel so that it won't collapse as it's uh, glued to the card front so now I can go ahead and remove these liner pieces and when I get that banner mounted in place I can get in there with my tweezers and because it's kind of tight in there it'd be hard to get in there with my fingertips but I can get in there with my tweezers and remove the liner from that foam tape there and then it will be nicely mounted now to finish the card off I decided to add some of those pretty pink posh sparkling uh, sequins or not sparkling I guess these are silver metallic so anyway I'm just gonna go ahead and use my jewel picker tool and a fine tip adhesive to go ahead and glue those down and the card is finished I think it turned out great and I love having these colors as a backdrop to my focal balloon I think the card turned out great we have more still shots available at the classroom blog all the supplies are available at ellenhudson.com thanks for watching